Hello, I'm Loonjin, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing some more random dice for you guys. And today, it's update day, and you know what it is. I am basically going to be playing Scopo. Yeah, um, if you guys haven't seen the update video from random dice, they basically released the Timewinder dice. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is, Timewinder. And Timewinder, we already seen what it does, you know, during the Timewinder event. However, they also released this new thing called Expert Event, and um, it's basically, you have to use Assassin Dice to get to a certain, like, dice pips. You have to make 11 dice into a 7 pip, which is, I wouldn't say it's hard, but yeah, that's like, you know, there's a, there's a timing for that. But today, I will be actually testing out the new Timewinder, uh, this thing. Um, I will be buying it through... I'll be buying it through this, the, um, the class thing. There we go. So we could just buy it. And I'll see you guys after the purchase. There we go. I successfully purchased the dice. Timewinder dice. Let's go. I'll wait on this package. I'll first of all read what it actually is. Where is it? When merged, the current board is saved and recalled after a certain interval. Recall time increases according to the dice dot counts, and right after recall, all dice are silenced for a while. After the cooldown, gains one possible recall counts can be stacked up to two times when the time winder dice is on the board. The cooldown decreases per certain interval. So as you can see, we already know what it is pretty much. So the recall cooldown second is a hundred seconds. I I I don't actually know what this means. <laughs> um anyway, anyway, we'll just go ahead and test that test it out on Scopo. Yes. Guys, first of all, I'm going to test it out in training mode to see what actually it is. Um, because I honestly want to know what like the cooldown thing means. So as you guys can see, there's this one thing on the bottom, and is that how much we can use? So let's just spawn a bunch. Oh, okay. Can I do the same? Oh, I can't. Oh, hold on. Wait, so how does this work? Do I seriously have to just wait? The dice itself is currently removing the time. Removing three seconds. Oh, so you need a hundred. Oh, oh, I see how. Okay, I see how this is. Okay. Okay, so it's not like the old timeliner where you could just constantly merge and stuff. It seems like you have to have a cooldown, which is weird. So my recommendation would be to start off with a timewinder merge. And then you would leave like a timewinder and then you would max this out so that you have the most time. And when we see at around now, we could probably merge at that. Something like that. And then it'll go back to uh, zero. Okay, so there might be a little bit of a strategy to this now. So you need... Timewinder. It's not like you just merge Timewinder like and get rid of it. You need Timewinder to constantly use Timewinder's ability. So this actually might be class dependent because the more you class up, apparently the lower the, the timer thing goes, the cooldown thing. Yeah, here is cooldown reduction per dot counts. I have no clue if my opponent, hopefully my opponent brings something easy, you know, please. This guy already has the- oh my god, what? Yeah, and also I will be making a video on the thing as well. Oh, it's normal combo. Oh. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So right off the bat, I think what we're supposed to do is to just chill. Oh wait, no, it does increase. Slightly. Oh, why am I- o Blessings? Blessings? Do your work. This is 13.5 blessings, by the way. So, first of all, I need to survive. And I want to use my Time Minder ability as fast as possible, right? Uh, something like that. We can get three pips or three combos. Let's merge that. Okay, we already have a two pips, so I don't think we need to worry about that. I don't know. Will, ti will Time Minder be OP? I don't know. I honestly I have no clue. But I'm going to use another one for this. Uh, let's just make sure that I have. Okay, that that's that's the most I can do. 
and it'll stun everything and stuff okay i okay i see i see how this goes problem is where's scope i really need scope game game please please give me scope but yeah as you guys can see my opponent um seven combo when i have uh 11 combo which is slightly an slightly an advantage um i didn't merge all my dice as well so yeah this this could actually be pretty cool it won't be op as the old timewinder when timewinder event first came out however i think it'll still be useful for scope at least there's so many different things i want to try timewinder with honestly have more time let's merge oh okay i wasn't ready i i thought <laughs> yeah i forgot that any time winder will do it okay kind of struggling against uh normal scope though let's merge this real quick before the timer hits uh one okay what if we kill the boss and then we'll use the ability right okay i think that's i think that's the plan so far, 19 combo to 16. Kind of, kind of am behind, but we should be fine. We really should be. Okay, so we merge this, that, and this. Okay, that's three increase. And let's merge this. Let's merge that and that. Let's upgrade this one to see how, how long it can last. Okay, I accidentally spawned there. Remember to not spawn any dice. And yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm still, I'm still am behind. Merge one, two, and three. Something like that. And then we have 40 combo. And we let the dice all merge. Nice. Timewinder feeling to it anymore. So now, okay, that, that was perfect because I like merged a ton. That was good. Uh oh. Wow, that, that stays that stays there for a long time. Around Okay, I couldn't merge a lot, but you know, it's whatever. And then we could possibly get one more, right? Okay, we'll just we'll just let it pass. So uh, let's go merge this. I can't merge that. Then it'll go back to normal. Uh, kill it. Wow. Okay. That stayed on for a long time. All right. There we go. All right. Uh, merge the two pip. All right. It's a two pip. Ooh, okay, no, no, we can't, we can't risk a two pip merge anymore. Okay. One thirty one at wave eleven. I'm feeling that it's like good, and not like terrible, you know. Okay, 151 at wave 13. One sixty one. A cooldown, nice. There we go. All 
All right. Come on. Come on. It was a one pip. All right. No. Okay. Is dead. All right. 191 combo at wave 16. So it is definitely faster. However, I think I'm going to die. Uh... surviving way more it's not like that either oh wow you have to go for it Oof. okay that's another way to use this As you can see there, Time Winder, you really can't use Time Winder after Berserk Waves, but Summoner can. So even though I can get a ton of Time Winders and like a ton of combo early on, I can't get like enough combo because Summoner, Summoner is like a steady kind of, I guess, a way to increase combo. However, Time Winder is more like you go steadily, and then you just increase right away, kinda. It's kinda hard to explain. Anyway, that's the whole video for today. I just wanted to test out the new Time Winder. Um, if anyone has a high class Time Winder, please let me know like how it feels like. Because if you actually have a high class Time Winder, I think you could use Time Winder more frequently. But as of right now, I don't really know. I honestly don't know because it's not as free as before, you know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope this gave you guys a slight idea on what the Time Winder Dice is. A lot of you guys thought this would be OP, but it turns out it's not as OP. I think it's a cool dice that they released. We already know what what it does. However, it's not. It doesn't have the same feeling as it as before. Because the main reason why Time Winder was so OP was because the RNG mechanic of random dice was pretty much deleted. So what would happen is you could merge a 6 pip and you could wish for a 7 pip lunar. You merge a Time Winder before merging the 6 pip. You merge Time Winder, you merge 6 pip, it's a 7 pip lunar. Then you merge another Time Winder to make a new sequence. And then it won't recall back to where you had the two six pips. But you merge the two six pips and it's not something you want. Then you can let the time winder take you back in time to where you had the two six pips. But now you can't really do that unless you charge it up. And charging up, it takes a while. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's that great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video once again. And please do like and subscribe for more. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.